Good evening. I'm Camden Cohn, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. The 15th-ranked Nebraska soccer team travels to Columbus, Ohio to take on the 13th-ranked Wisconsin Badgers in the semifinals of the Big Ten Soccer Tournament tomorrow afternoon. The match will start at 4 p.m. and can be watched on the Big Ten Network. Breaking news in the college basketball world, former Indiana head coach Bob Knight has passed away at the age of 83. The legendary coach was hired in 1971 and coached at Indiana for 29 years. His overall record at IU was 662 and 239, and his teams accomplished three national titles under his tenure. His 1975-76 team is the only college basketball team to finish an undefeated season and a national championship. World Series Game 5 between the Texas Rangers and the Arizona Diamondbacks is scheduled to start in about an hour. The Rangers lead the series three games to one and are looking to win their first World Series in team history. The pitching matchup tonight pits Nathan Avaldi against Zach Gallen as the D-backs look to stay alive another day. Some college football tonight as well in the MAC Conference. Just underway between Ball State and Bowling Green, and in a little bit, Akron hosts Kent State. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Now, get ready for a full two hours of Sports Nightly right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. Harburg under center, Fleeks is the deep back. Wide receivers left and right, turn. Uh, back to throw, a play action look. Harburg going to take a shot downfield. Has a man wide open, Malachi Coleman makes a catch. Touchdown, Nebraska. Yeah, it's outside center, Nebraska. Bay Norris, kaboom. Oh, oh. Waking babies all over Evanston. Wow. Emphatic. Now back to the near side comes A.J. Henning. Sullivan gets the snap, back to throw, pumps, gets rushed, gets hit, throws down. Then a sack. Pulled down again by Nash. His second sack of the game all the way back at the 30-yard line. Could this be the match? And here's the call. Net violation return. Nebraska defeats Wisconsin. They did it. Call the grandkids. Nebraska takes down mighty Wisconsin. A second two skin, and they love it in Lincoln. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. And welcome to our Hump Day Show, Wednesday edition. Even though today I have felt like it's Thursday all day long, and I keep going, well, wait, no, it's, it's just... It's just Wednesday. Same. I thought it was Thursday. I thought yesterday was Wednesday. I agree. I don't know why it felt like Wednesday. And so, I, yeah, I've been off all week. Why? I don't know why. I, I don't know. I, I think maybe for me, it's that I had the basketball game on Sunday. And so just my days have been messed up. But then also maybe Halloween normally feels like a more of an end of the week type right. of night. Yeah. I don't know. Kind of miss our costumes tonight. They, yeah. They've been, been put away. So <laughs> probably rightfully so. Volleyball show coming up an hour two tonight. Because it's a Wednesday, the team, uh, they practice later on Wednesdays because of class. So coach will be here at hour number two tonight uh, for his volleyball show. They travel tomorrow. The Huskers will play at Penn State Friday night, which uh, will limit sports nightly Friday night to just a 30-minute show. So the coach will be here in hour two. So if you want to get your comments, questions ready for him, he'll be here in the second hour. Cameron had this in the, uh, in the uh, ticker. That Bob Knight, what did, I, what did I say, Cameron? What am I, I'm seeing Cameron in the chat. Camden said that Bob Knight passed away about a half hour ago. We got the news that came across 83 years old. When you hear that name, what comes to mind for you? I mean, legendary, right? And he just, I saw that news too. And I just, you, you never think like someone like that, larger than life figure and, and what he meant to the game of basketball. It's just, it's hard to fathom that he's no longer here. You just... People like that, you're like, oh, they're going to live forever. You know, you just can't really fathom the day I think that they're gone. And so it's, it's uh, kind of shocking. But, yeah, um, my dad was a huge Coach Knight fan. Um, my dad was a, a basketball coach and so a big fan of Bobby Knight. And, uh, yeah, just um, sad news. But, man, what a, what a mark he had on, on the game of basketball. I think he was very divisive. I think you're either really respected and liked Coach Knight or he horrified you. Because of his demeanor, I don't think there's any way he could coach the way he did then now. Yeah. Do you? 
Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, he coached in a way that um, in a time when it's just it's so different now. And, you know, I, I think there are certainly still coaches and probably some of ours here on the staff. Are, well, I know some of ours. They're hard on their guys, but it's, it's, it's how you love them up when you're not it, and it's coming from a place of love and I think sometimes coach Knight was just hard all the time he and was. hard on him all the time and it's but yeah he and even when once he kind of got out of it it was still still okay you know I know it was kind of probably on the back end then I know he had some 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 issues with some things but yeah it's definitely not something that moving forward it's not it's tr not trending in the way that that is definitely accepted as much i think the closest thing in college basketball to the way knight acts is probably izzo at michigan state because he'll get in guys face on the bench and i remember a couple of years ago in the ncaa tournament there was a lot of pushback from some media about the way he was treating some of the players and a bunch of former michigan state players came to his rescue and said you back off that's the way he coaches but you don't see him put his arm around us in the locker room and handle us. So Izzo's got a soft side to him. I don't think Knight had that. I think Knight had a hard edge all the time. But I think a lot of guys knew that when they went to go play for him and kind of wanted to be coached hard. Yeah, that, that's the thing about Coach. You knew what you were getting into. And there's he didn't hide it. You know, you might have some coaches that – you don't know how, how they're going to coach you, and it's different when you get there. But with him, you knew exactly what it was going right. to be. And so when, it's not like you, you signed up and you were shocked by things. And then especially, like, the more that his career went along, the more you heard the stories and, and you knew. But I just – I remember what was it? It was, at what, two or three years ago when they honored him. And they – went back. All mm -hmm. the um, – he went back to Indiana, and all those former players came, and they did a bunch of, of really neat tribute videos and, and hearing the players talk. And, and those players, when he was going on those runs, boy, they just think the world of him, you know? And, and he pushed them hard, and but they were rewarded by that with a lot of their success that they were able to do. But, yeah, it's, um, I, it wasn't like he was hiding anything. It, wasn't, it, right. was, it, 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 it was what it was, and you knew what you were getting into when you played for a guy like that. No, you're right. Isaiah Thomas was at that celebration, and Quinn Buckner was at that, and they, they had their arms around Coach Knight, and, and they will speak very fondly of him. And you know they were, they were, he coached them hard when they played there. Mike Woodson, who's the current Indiana coach, also played for Knight. And I'm sure he's going to have comments. Sports Center. I'm probably going to do a whole hour show about him tonight. He was not very good as a broadcaster. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't yeah. like him on the broadcasting. And they had him on those big Monday games a lot once he retired from the game of of coaching. Yeah, he kind of still remained pretty harsh. I mean, yeah. And when I say harsh, just the, his tone, and it wasn't. It's he still seemed like he was mad <laughs> a lot of yes. times. You know, like it wasn't like. It didn't seem like he was enjoying doing it either sometimes, I didn't feel. Right, and they, they paired him up, if I remember right, with, like, Musburger. And mm -hmm. so I was like, Musburger and I, I was like, ooh, this is, it was not a great combination. I remember that because it was Big 12, and I watched a lot of Big 12 basketball in the Big Monday uh, matchup. So big sports news, it just came out about 45 minutes ago. We just saw it come up on Sports Center. It's just, if you, if you say, list some of the biggest names in college basketball, the coaches. He's right he, at the top. He's one of those names. Yeah that people think about and so yeah it's it's big news it's sad news and um just like yeah uh it's just one of those names that you just don't really you can't really fathom the day when you're when you see that that you know he passed away so but certainly yeah. made a huge impact and um I, I i didn't finish his book but i started reading his book but i it's still on my to-do list now I've, i feel like i need to get it back out and, and finish it the john feinstein book i think it was called season on the brink yeah that's what i meant sorry the, yeah it's really yeah. good. Yeah. I have read that. It's really good. It's worth your time. Because he Feinstein embedded himself, is that the word, with the team for the entire year, with them from day one of practice in October at that time. Still should be. At that time was October 15th, and then all the way through wherever their postseason ended, he was with the team and wrote a book. It's, it's a fascinating read. I'm sure a lot of our audience has read that as well. All right, I uh, mentioned Coach Cook coming up in hour number two. We'll have some... Uh, Jeremiah Searles stopping by here in a little bit, a little bit of the podcast sideline with Searles here in a few minutes. And we na need to name our BMO Athlete of the Week. We'll do that later on in the hour. Huskers are having a night practice right now. Uh, so they're in the stadium. I think the lights are on. They're in there.
getting ready to work out tonight. A little warmer, got a little warmer today, so probably not freezing out there tonight for this practice. I thought it was chilly today, but I don't know. I think we get in the 50s today. Um, so, yeah. But this morning it was chilly. It was very cold this morning. Yeah. I thought it was uh, funny when Coach Satterfield was talking about the, the practice, and it was, it was pretty cold out there yesterday, so I'm sure they'll, they'll like the a little bit of warm, because that's what it's going to be in East Lansing, right? A little bit warmer? Yep, 54, I think, cloudy. And next week's forecast for the Maryland game, it's still a ways away. It doesn't look bad at all. Camden, got it right that time today. Uh, <laughs> in the ticker mentioned, soccer will play tomorrow at 4 o'clock. BTN has TV coverage of the semifinals, a rematch with Wisconsin. They played them earlier this year here in Lincoln. And it was a late goal by the Badgers to end in a 2-2 tie. Should be a tremendous matchup tomorrow. I'm ready to watch some soccer tomorrow afternoon. Me too. And, you know, this team's still playing. I think, I think they've done enough to maybe host the first round. Oh, I think so. They're a lock. Um, but I, you know, you, you always, for seating purposes, you never know if you can keep, keep winning. It could help your bid. Help your, but I think they've done enough to, to be able to. It was what a couple weeks ago. It was still maybe maybe iffy if they would be able to host the first round of the NCAA tournament. But I think they've they've done enough at this point. And 15 in the RPI, right? Did I see that? And the top 32 get to host. Yeah. So uh, I think they're a cinch. Yeah. So uh, that that would be big. But you know this this team has big goals, and I, I just been so impressed with everyone that I've sat down with, and and a lot kind of like the the volleyball team about how. You know, they take it one game at a time, and, and they don't look too far ahead. But they did. They, they set goals for themselves this year, and it goes one at a time. And it was, you know, talking about the non-conference and the, the conference. And, and I, I certainly think that this team, I don't know this for sure, but I, I would bet that they have a Big Ten title on that goal list. And so here is an opportunity to bring home a, a Big Ten tournament title, you know. So um, they already won the, the regular season a, a chair of it. But I bet they would, would wouldn't mind winning that tournament outright. Absolutely. I mean, and, you know, the, some of the awards came out the other day for the league. John Walker, named Coach of the Year, absolutely. I don't think people thought that this would be a team that would be co-champions at the end of the regular season. Um, Eleanor, Eleanor Dale. Dale was the Offensive Player of the Year in the league, so some much-deserved honors. And that's what happens. You have a good year, you get the honors. I think that's fantastic that some of those are rolling in for the soccer program. When do they announce the National Player of the Year for soccer? I, I don't. It's got to be. Do they wait till the NCAA tournament's over? I don't know when that comes out. She's got to be right there, right? Um, she has to be right in the mix of that. But sometimes don't they announce the so like with basketball, isn't it right before the Final Four? It might be. So maybe in a couple weeks they do that. But, and so, yeah, for, for someone, a player like her, I think they probably need to win a couple, right, for her to, to solidify. I, I think she's All-American, first team All-American. She's All-American, but when you start talking about those, the best of the, the, the number one, like the Heisman of soccer, your team has to be, I think, has to perform pretty well. Because there's been times that, with basketball players that the leading scorer didn't always win those big time awards because their teams didn't do as well. Right. So it's, it, you know, so for her, I think they probably need to win a couple in the NCAA tournament and she'll be a lock for that too. How about that? When was the last national player of the year? Well, that'd probably be volleyball. I would yeah. Think. Um, yeah, true. They probably have had a couple of those. And I, and you know, Heck, maybe even like a Brittany Timko was kind of up for that, or some Huskers have had some really good soccer yeah. teams in the past. But she, this is somebody who really wasn't even on my. Maybe she was on your. She wasn't really on my radar four months ago. I was thinking more Sarah Weber, who's had a very good year in her own right. I think she's got 12 goals on the year. But Eleanor has just come out of kind of nowhere to me. I'm sure not to John Walker. Yeah, I think, and and she put in a lot of work. And you hear what her teammates say about her. And we had her on the show, and she talked about how she. Um, went and played with an elite team over the summer and really put in a lot of work. And so I think, I don't think the team was surprised at all. And I think she was showing some of that, those flashes early and maybe in the spring and, and throughout summer, they got to go on a foreign trip too. And so maybe they started seeing some of that. But yeah, I mean, she had seven goals and seven goals the two previous seasons. And so, yeah, I think from the outside looking in, probably, I think we all were, and but yet, it's it's crazy that Sarah Weber she's had a fantastic year and the the amount of goals that she's had would be tremendous but you're just comparing them yeah. to you know what what uh, Eleanor Dale has done but it's just that's a that's a really tough one two punch and I think that's why both of them have been able to have the success because teams can't key in on either one of those.
All right, that's what we have for the program tonight. 402-413-2400, the number if you want to be a part of the show, the text or a phone call. That is our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline. Woodhouse, your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. We're back with part of the Sideline Slice with Searles. We'll do that next. We've got some universally big news for Nebraska Pick 5 fans. The price for matching four of five numbers has risen from $450 to $500. Visit your favorite Nebraska lottery retailer today. Pick five numbers between 1 and 40 or ask for a Nebraska Pick 5 quick pick. Match four numbers and you could win $500. Each play only costs $1 and there are drawings seven days a week. It's just another way our game is getting better all the time. Nebraska Pick 5 top prize odds 1 in 658000 Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor saving measures, ground truthing results, and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Woodhouse has been delivering you confidence in car buying since 1975. And now we're giving you the convenience of doing it 100% online with Buy Now. Anytime, from anywhere, you can compare hundreds of hand-picked, safety-inspected, free-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs that are available to purchase completely online. Shop smarter with personalized, estimated payments on all the inventory. Apply for financing and schedule your driveway delivery all online. Woodhouse, delivering a better way to car buy online with Buy Now. In 1923, Bert R. Benjamin had a vision, an all-purpose tractor that could do more. With that, the Farmall was born. This year, Case IH is celebrating 100 years of Farmall, 100 years of milestones, 100 years of innovation, passion, grit. And they're doing it through your stories. Share them at Farmall100.com. One lucky storyteller will win their own Farmall, the tractor that is the one for all. Life doesn't come with guarantees, but working with Rob Seco comes pretty close. Our strategic investments in the seed we offer are designed to directly improve your bottom line. From full trait platforms, breeding and development, to field-by-field -field planning and seed-driven crop inputs, with Rob Seco, you have precisely what you need to improve plant performance and increase yield. Every farm, every crop, and every acre. Learn more at robseco.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. We could tell you all about what makes Ford F-Series the number one trucks in America for 46 straight years. But why tell you when we could show you instead? Because in the Midwest, talk is cheap and actions speak. On the lake, on the job, or on the town. Choose the trucks that deliver on the claims. Ford F-Series is made for the real world. This is Chief's Kingdom. Get 3.9% financing for 66 months, plus up to 37.50 bonus cash on F-150 XLT. Official truck of the Kansas City Chiefs. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. 
Farming today is a combination of hard work, innovation, and partnerships to help keep us moving forward. Sap Brothers Petroleum has provided us with fuel, propane, and lubricants on the farm for many years. For over 52 years, Sap Brothers has been a reliable partner to thousands of farmers across our great state. We work hard to make sure our customers have the most reliable supply, provided in the safest manner and at the most competitive price. Trust Sap Brothers Petroleum to protect your equipment and keep your farm fueled. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics and to serve Nebraska farmers and Husker fans across America's heartland. Hey Husker fans, it's Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. As we get ready to celebrate 1890's one year anniversary, I'm proud to say the 1890 Initiative now represents 150 Husker student athletes in nine sports. And with your help, we can keep 1890 going strong, helping student athletes get the most from their name, image, and likeness, and preparing them for life after college. Visit 1890Nebraska.com to learn more about NIL and 1890 and contribute today. Dear roads, trails, and rivers, you ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved-up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Tamen 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie back with you on a Wednesday night. Let's head to the phones at the North Platte and Jim. Good evening, sir. You're on the program. Well, first of all, I want to thank you, and I want to tell you both good evening, and I would just like to say, you know what, I I am very positive after this game Saturday we will go get a bowl game and you know what and and we will get better recruiting next year and we get all of our, our guards and tackles and and uh, wide receivers back and basically running backs back we will be that much better as a football team well next year and on and on. Thank you for taking my call. Go Big Red. All right, Jim. Thanks. Appreciate the phone call. That's kind of how it works. Start winning on the field. And, and you maybe get in some better players' eyes to come to Nebraska and keep going. But I think the staff isn't worried at all about next year. They're worried about Saturday's game with Michigan State and to try to get uh, one more win on the board here in 2023. Well, one guy has always got his eye on the ball for us is Jeremiah Searles. He sits down every week with Jessica for our sideline slice with Searles. Here's a part of that conversation. Another win. We, we closed the pod last week talking about, hey, let's make it three in a row and, and talk about three in a row, which we have not had on this podcast since we started this podcast, um, the, talking about three wins in a row. And, you know, I thought there were times – that this team was playing their best football all three phases. Now, they, they didn't do it for four quarters, and Coach Rule and the staff have been the first to say that. But there were times, I think, in that second quarter when the offense was really rolling, defense was, was locking things down, there were some big te- things on special teams that I think you saw some, some really great, great football being played on all three phases. Yeah, you know, complimentary football all the way around. You know, obviously, we talk about it every single week. The turnovers have got to get cleaned up. Those are things that when you're playing top-tier opponents, not taking anything away from our last three opponents, but when you're playing top-tier opponents, turnovers kill you. And Rule knows it. He's talked about it. I mean, he benched Harburg because of it, and then Sims came in and turned it over. And, you know, it's one of those things that I believe now that it's gone more along the lines of it's something everyone's thinking about, which can just make it almost harder to hold on to the ball. But overall, was very impressed with the fact that we able to pass the ball around, the young core of receivers out there making plays, finding ways to come up with big catches and we need them, big conversions. And then the defense just continuing to build strong and strong every single week. 
you know, every week you're wondering, is this the week that someone figures them out? Is this the week where they finally get a bead on what Tony White's doing? And nope, sure isn't. You know, he is, has this team playing at such a high level, and they're running around with their hair on fire, and everyone is contributing. You're seeing big-time plays being made by everyone who steps on that field, and they're still platooning guys all around. And then anytime you can score on special teams, that just can flip the entire game on its head. That was a crucial moment in this game. So really excited about the complimentary football that we saw growing in the right direction. Still a lot of things to get cleaned up, but so much easier to get things cleaned up after a win. I did want to go back to Harburg. So he had gone into the tent. He took a pretty bad hit. He was actually had some blood and, and everything, and he took some big hits. And you actually mentioned this. I remember the first time that he started, and you were concerned about some of the hits that he was taking. You're like, you, you love it as a fan, and you appreciate his willingness, but also um, you also got to balance, hey, we need you out here to be healthy. How, how does that develop for a quarterback? Of he, He's a tough guy. He wants to do whatever he can do. But also, you cannot put your, yourself in a situation to get hurt where you, you did have a situation where Sims came in cold and then he fumbles and it just wasn't an ideal situation for that. So how do you, how do you balance that with a young quarterback of figuring that out? Yeah, he just has to understand he's got to pick and choose his times to be physical as a runner. Right? If there's a safety or a corner that's coming up to tackle you, yeah, lower your shoulder, push his little face in the ground, and keep going. <laughs> but if you've got like a D end or a linebacker, no one's going to think less of you if you slide. There's not one person in that stadium that's going to go, boo, when you slide when there's a 255 pound linebacker coming to smoke you. Right? You have to understand that that is just part of the game. It's why you're a quarterback and not a running back. You are only one on the field. There's only one quarterback on the field at one given time. We need you to stay healthy. We can't risk you getting hurt. You know, I think back to Taylor Martinez, my quarterback. You know, he got hurt and rolled up on, I believe, in the middle of the season in 2010 when he was killing it, and he was never the same the rest of the year because he's a running quarterback. You know, you just have to pick and choose your times. That comes with reps. That comes with understanding. But I also think Rule, Satterfield, some of the guys around him need to be like, listen, I love your physicality. I'm not trying to take that away from you. But just slide. <laughs> Every now and then, slide. Hell, go head first. I don't care. Just get on the ground so you're not getting absolutely smoked. And that will also help clean up some of the fumble issues as well when you're not taking those big shots time and time and time. One of the, the big things that we, we made note of is, is that uh, Marcus Satterfield moved up to the booth. He'd been on the sideline every other game. But um, he had some really great play calls going on. I, I thought there were some times that the offense was, was really rolling and um, some, some good things that they were seeing that they were taking advantage of that you, we hadn't really seen from this offense, some of those big plays. And now back-to-back -back weeks, we've seen those big, big touchdown throws. What did you take away from, from that? Yeah, you know, it's showing that Satterfield's getting some trust in these young wide receivers. You know, he's allowing them to use their athleticism and allowing them to be able to keep going and develop in, during practice, and he's allowing them to cut them loose. Right? I think the biggest thing as a play caller when you have young wide receivers is you get really nervous of, are they going to be on the same page as the quarterback? Are they going to be able to read the coverage? Are they going to be able to make separation? Am I putting my quarterback in a bad situation trying to throw them the ball? And you're seeing time and time again that these guys are coming out and making huge plays. You know, I mean, Jalen Lloyd having the one long 73-yard touchdown pass, that was fantastic for him. And the week before is Malachi Coleman, and then you saw Jaden Doss have a big catch. And, you know, he's spreading it around, and I know that we only threw the ball 11 times. But if that's what it takes to win, then so be it. And if you're only going to get 11 opportunities to catch the football, let's make sure we make the most out of those. And so... I thought that Satterfield put a really good game plan together. Emmett Johnson was fantastic running the football. You know, I thought he did a nice job. He averaged over six yards a carry, 5.8 yards a carry. When you can have a running back that's averaging over five yards a carry, that means you're having efficient runs on first and second down. You're controlling the time of possession. You're putting yourselves in good positions in front of the sticks. And just overall on the offensive side, it was more efficient than it's been in the past. It was more just the turnovers that hurt us than anything. Um, let's talk Michigan State. It is going to be a little bit warmer there. I think more more my my speed. Um, but they're 0 and 5 in conference. What two and six overall? But you said and, and Coach Rule mentioned this too. I mean they are physical up front, and despite everything, all the drama that's going on, they still continue to fight. It's kind of like what we said about Northwestern. Northwestern is, has won more, but 
you know, they've managed to keep themselves in football games, and they're not overlooking this when the, the Huskers aren't by any means. No, and we shouldn't. We, we haven't earned, I know we've won three in a row, but we haven't earned the right to overlook anyone yet. You know, we are still very much have to be a week to week, and it goes all the way back to what Coach Rule started when we were going to play Minnesota. It's 1-0 and this week. Right? Everything that happened in the past is great, but that's the past. None of that matters. And every game you win, the next game becomes just that much more important. That's just the way football works at any level, you know. You start putting a string of wins together, the pressure now s kind of swings over to you, right? When, when, you're a, when you're a losing football team like we have been in the past or Michigan State is this year, they don't have a ton of pressure to come in and win this game, right? There's no one that's talking about in the, in the Twitter webs or wherever that's like, Michigan State could win their division, right? You hear that as a player. Nebraska's hearing that. It's impossible not to hear it. It's everywhere, right? Hey, we have a chance. We have a chance. Well, that just means this game's that much more important. Michigan State's going to come to this game trying to play the spoiler, trying to play the, the, the miracle wrecker, right? Like, hey, you guys think you're going to get a chance to division, do all these things. No, no, we're going to come and beat you, right? That's where they're at. And we're coming in with, hey, we have confidence, we have swagger, but we have to stay focused on the things that we've done well the last couple of weeks. We've got to keep growing on those. We have to clean up the things that we have. And, and, you know, this is a physical football team. They have NFL talent on that defensive line. We'll be tested up front this week. We just have to make sure that we take care of the football on the road. You know, we've had some issues turning the ball over on the road. You know, and when you turn the ball over on the road, it's a lot harder to overcome that than it is at home. So what, what have you seen other than the, the defensive, the NFL-type players on the defensive line? What stands out? Let's start on the defensive side of the ball with Michigan State. What are they going to try to do against the Nebraska offense? Yeah, they're, they're going to load the box. You know, they're going to try and say, yeah, that was great. You, ran the, you threw the ball 12 times last week. We're going to try and make you one-dimensional, right? If that means putting a single high safety at 11 yards and bringing the strong safety or the free safety down into the box to create eight, nine-man boxes at times. They're going to try and make Harburg throw the football with this young group of wideouts, and that's what they're going to try and do. So there's a couple things we got to do there. we got to make sure that our quick passing game is going to be really good and really tight, some outs, some slants, getting Fedoni involved over the middle, and also we can take advantage to get to the edges. You know, using the speed of Malachi Coleman and Jalen Lloyd and, and Daz of some jet sweeps, some screens, some things to get guys out on the edges and allow, if you want to stack the bots, it means there's one-on-one -on -one matches outside. Make one guy miss, you're going to have a lot of green grass out in front of you. So, you know, offensively, I would like to see us get to the edges a lot and then take advantage of when we can run the ball in the middle against favorable boxes, start to try and pound it back up between the A-gaps. And for the defense, it's just keep doing what you're doing, right? I mean, yeah. at this point, it, it's less about what the other team does. It's more about we're just going to do what we do. Yeah, until I see another team that can put a blueprint out there of how to attack this defense and do it effectively, don't change anything. And, you know, I think Tony White does a great job of keeping offenses on their toes. You know, I think he has a lot of the same blitzes. And when you really look at the film, you look at the study, He's not sending, quote-unquote, different blitzes, but they're coming from different personnel, and they're coming from different places on the field, right? If it's a double-edge blitz, he's having guys walk out over the, the slot receiver and then coming, and then other times they're standing right on the line of scrimmage. And one time it's Isaac Gifford, one time it's MJ Sherman. And they're just there's so many moving parts that it's really hard for an offense to get a tendency on what this defense wants to do. And I think all the way back to the spring when I interviewed Tony White before the Big Ten game, and he was like, we're going to create chaos. And he has lived up to that time and time again. And, you know, I talked to some of the other offensive linemen around the Big Ten that I, that I talked to in recruiting. They're like, man, Nebraska's defense is just, it's just so hard to game plan for because you just don't know what you're going to get. And it's a different flavor of the week every single week. And then you couple that with the fact that Ty Robinson, Nash Hutmaker, Elijah Judy, and those guys are playing really well up front. That just puts even more pressure on guys are winning when we're only rushing three and four, and then we're really winning when we're rushing five or six. And I just love watching this defense play. I love the effort that they play with. I love the tenacity that they play with. And I grossly love the execution that they're playing with. You're not seeing guys running wide open down field. You're not seeing guys missing their gap assignments. They are playing extremely high-level football. Isaac Gifford told me last week in the Cornhusker conversation that throughout the week, it's just, it, it, it's chaos, and they're, they're, it's kind of, um, it's a lot to take in, especially he was like at the beginning, but then when you get to the game, it's a lot slower because they make it so crazy throughout the week and preparing and, and how fast the play calls are coming, and, and he's, he kind of jokes, he's like, what are we doing? Minnesota doesn't run a high-tempo offense, but, but it, it allowed for them to, to 
it to slow down once they get on Saturday. So they, they are still just doing it throughout the week that when they get into games, it's just it's, it's, it's a lot easier, I guess. The games are easier than what they're doing throughout the week. Yeah, and when you can, you win the game during the week. It's not, it's not rocket science. It's anyone that's ever played the game of football knows that you win the game on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. How you prepare, how well you put in the work on the practice field, in the meeting room, in the film room, and understanding how to prepare. If you can be super well prepared and nothing can surprise you when it comes to game day because you've put the extra time and effort into it during the week, that's when the game slows down and that's when you're out there just having fun because you're not on your toes. You're not on your heels. You're on your toes. You're attacking. You're moving. You're grooving. You're so confident in what you're doing. The other team's the one that has to then game plan against you versus trying to come on the sideline and going, okay, what did they just do? How have we not seen that before? What, did, what adjustments do we have to make on the fly versus come out the side and be like, hey, that was great. Keep doing that. We're going to tweak this a little bit so that we can get after them on this front. And, you know, that just is a testament to Tony White. Terrence Knight and all these defensive staff guys that just how well and how much time they put into the preparation piece for this black shirt defense. That was a portion of this week's sideline slice with Searles presented by Valentino's Pizza, the official pizza of the Huskers. You can listen to that full podcast out now on all of our podcast platforms and our YouTube channel as well. He does a really interesting deep dive into the offensive line, and I know that's shocking that we're talking about the offensive line, but I thought this this week's take on with the, totally the substitutions, but then also the culture that's being built and how, you know, that's that's what ultimately leads to success for a football team is, is what's going on in that offensive line room, and um, of course, that's talking from an offensive lineman, but I thought that that was probably one of my favorite parts is when he really dove into that and, and, and talked about that and Coach Riel and the job that he's done. So you can listen to that full conversation uh, out now on all of our podcast platforms. Fantastic. Good stuff, as always, from, uh, from uh, the big dog. The big hey, dog. folks, buckle up, put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Our phone lines are wide open for you, 402 402- 413-2400. You can also fire off a text. We're back to name our BMO at Husker Athlete of the Month for October. Who's it going to be? I think we could debate on this one. We'll do that next. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Both farmers and Division I athletes are alike in that every year, every season presents a new opportunity. That is nothing new. Aurora Cooperative does what they always do, embrace new opportunities. They focus on their roots and continue to stand strong with their farmer owners. These core beliefs are much like those of committed Husker athletes. Aurora Cooperatives relies on their value of a strong work ethic to get any job done for their producers. When you choose Aurora Cooperative, you're choosing a winning team that's dedicated to the success of our local farmers. Go Big Red and go Aurora Cooperative. Shop smarter online for your next vehicle with Buy Now from Woodhouse. Car buying 100% online from your local trusted auto partner. Easily compare hundreds of hand-picked safety-inspected cars, trucks, and SUVs features, capabilities, and payments. Conveniently apply for financing and complete your paperwork for purchase 100% online anytime from anywhere. Plus, we'll deliver it to your driveway. Woodhouse, delivering a better way to car buy online with Buy Now. Visit a participating Agco dealer between September 11th and November 3rd and enter for a chance to win a pair of tickets to the Nebraska-Iowa football game on November 24th in Lincoln, plus pregame tailgate. See True Turf and Ag in Osmond, Columbus, and Fall City, Osceola Implement, and Carney Equipment to enter, and you may win this season. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exist to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. Maybe your hometown celebrates long-standing Swiss traditions. Cow chip throwing. 
Hummer or even classic car muscle. Everyone has a hometown, and every hometown has a festival. Senex wants to hear about yours. That's why we're launching the Hometown Throwdown. Tell us about your fest, and it could win $100,000. Learn more at SenexHometownThrowdown.com. Senex, powered locally. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. For 47 years, Sid Dillon Buick GMC Cadillac in Fremont has been family owned and operated. We'll treat you like family and focus on providing you the best buying experience possible. Visit us in Fremont to shop Nebraska's number one volume Buick GMC dealer. And if you need a commercial vehicle, we're your GMC business elite dealer. Shop at SidDillonBuickGMC.com. GMC, we are professional grade. You are what drives us. Dylan. What's colder than the coldest? A polar bear. I reports of polar bear on the loops. Man, is it cold enough for a polar bear in here? Yes, we use SOS. Come on in. SOS to the rescue! Nebraska defense lineman Nash Hubbard here. People know me as a polar bear, and when I want to stay cool, I call SOS. Their texts don't make commissions, so they give you an honest opinion, fair pricing, and longer warranties than the competition. Guaranteed. Mention the polar bear and get a free 10-year labor warranty on New York equipment. The best warranty you have. Dear roads, trails, and rivers, you ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved-up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Tamen 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Everyone remembers Nebraska's national championships and Heisman Trophy winners. Most people also know Nebraska holds the record for the longest home sellout streak. But did you know Nebraska also leads the nation with 351 academic All-Americans? Or that Nebraska has more today's top 10 award recipients than any school in the country? Beardmore Subaru is proud to support and celebrate Husker Athletics and Nebraska student-athletes again this season. Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue has the three-row 2024 Subaru Ascent. It's the biggest SUV we've ever made. Love is now bigger than Ever. Want to invite you to visit a participating ag co-dealer between now and November 3rd. That's Friday, folks. Today's the 1st of November. Get yourself entered for a chance to win a pair of tickets to the Nebraska-Iowa football game coming up on the 24th. We'll throw in some pregame tailgate passes as well. Go see True Turf and Ag and Osmond, Columbus and Falls City, Osceola Implement, and Carney Equipment to enter, and you may be a winner this season. Welcome back, Sports Island, here on a Wednesday night. So the month of October is over, so we need to name a BMO Athlete of the Month. A couple of my candidates, I'm throwing Quentin Newsom in there. Had the INT at Illinois to start the month, and then special teams player of the week for a couple of big plays against Purdue. You know, I thought he, he made an impact in a couple of games. And you've always pointed out, nobody throws his way because they yeah. don't want to test him. Yeah. You know, I think there's probably a couple of players on the defensive side of the ball. Nash continues to be yep. the polar bear. Nash Hatmaker continues to be, for me, in that conversation. And, and while he's not always making those plays like, like that, a, a return for a touchdown, a block punt return for a touchdown, it, it's just what he's doing is so critical up front to allow what the rest of the defense is doing. I think there's a couple of players on defense, maybe, maybe even throw out Tommy Hill. 
in there. Sure. Right? Had two picks last week. And yeah. um, uh, had the recovery, right, at Illinois. So he's had three big games in October. The football team goes unbeaten in October. So, yeah, you could make an argument for one of those those guys. But I, to me, I think you got to lean towards volleyball. And I think that's also a debate that you could have, right? You could all you could debate a, a couple players there, too. Um, I'll say Bergen Riley, uh, just hearing what Lauren Cook West has to say about her in the broadcast a lot. And then when you sit, when I'm sitting down and, and having these conversations with the, all the coaches with about the, on the dig each week and, and all of them bring her up, whether they're, you know, Jordan Larson talks about her as a hitter, how, how great that is. And, and Jalen Reyes says the way that she sets certain in, in, in how she reads things. And so she's the reason why a big reason why they've been able to be so elite offensively. And so maybe Bergen Riley or Merritt Beeson has just been outstanding as well. So I think probably those would be my three. Merritt was the national player of the week a couple of weeks ago. Eleanor Dale was our athlete of the month in September. She stayed red hot in October. I thought Sarah Weber got a little bit more aggressive in October. Sarah was named uh, first team all conference last week when the all conference teams came out as well. So those are some of our finalists. We got to pick one. Who are you leaning towards? Well, I was kind of leaning toward Merritt, but you, I am not going to be opposed at all if it's Bergen Riley. Oh, man. Cole, you got any input on this one? Oh, he's eating. He's eating. <laughs> he's, he's left eating. the show to go eat. I just, um, I, I think it's hard to. It's really hard. To debate between. Just, just shout one out, Cole. Who do you think? He, oh, he's saying Nash. We were talking about, we were, we were debating between the volleyball here. Gosh, I think He's I got to check that. I show. think I, I think you just got to go with Merritt Beeson just because of she just has been absolutely outstanding. And I think probably next month we'll be debating if it's Bergen Riley. Could be. Uh, for I, this. I thought in the win over Wisconsin, I thought, and Coach Cook's <laughs> MVP of that was Laney. Joy yeah. Boy. But I thought Merritt was really effective against that big front line of Wisconsin. Let's go. Merritt Beeson is our athlete. I, it's great to have to debate it, right? That what you have a, yes. multiple choices. Yeah, it's great. And, and not just with one sport, right? There have been times in the past where only volleyball would have been in this conversation. But we exactly have right. three sports right now that really are, are deserving of, of that. And so that's fun. It's By the way, fun. Husker football undefeated in the month of October for the first time since 2001. Yeah. I, I gave Searles a hard time about that. I was like, you know, they did something that your yeah. teams never did, right? How but about that? that? That's, that's a, to me, that goes to the argument with maybe giving it to football, the fact that they were able to do that. But, yeah, I just, you, to me, just got to go with volleyball on this one. Being a number one team in the country, now yeah. ranked number one in the country, hard to go yep. against that. Agreed. Emo is a proud sponsor of the Huskers Radio Network. We're committed to helping our customers make real financial progress. To learn more, visit BMO.com. All right, 402-413-2400. Did we mess up? Who would you pick as your Husker Athlete of the Month of October? We're back to wrap up Hour 1 next. We could tell you all about what makes Ford F-Series the number one trucks in America for 46 straight years. But why tell you when we could show you instead? Because in the Midwest, talk is cheap and actions speak. On the lake, on the job, or on the town. Choose the trucks that deliver on the claims. Ford F-Series is made for the real world. This is Chief's Kingdom. Get 3.9% financing for 66 months, plus up to 37.50 bonus cash on F-150 XLT. Official truck of the Kansas City Chiefs. It's time for some Nebraska farm facts. Want to know a fast way to rev up our Nebraska economy while helping the planet? It's right in your tank. When you fill up with clean soy-based biodiesel, you're increasing Nebraska biodiesel production while reducing greenhouse gases by up to 74%. So look for biodiesel where you fill up. It benefits our air, our economy, and our farmers. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. 
Visit a participating Agco dealer between September 11th and November 3rd and enter for a chance to win a pair of tickets to the Nebraska-Iowa football game on November 24th in Lincoln, plus pregame tailgate. See True Turf and Ag in Osmond, Columbus, and Falls City. Osceola Implement and Cardi Equipment to enter. And you may win this season. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Woodhouse has been delivering you confidence in car buying since 1975. And now we're giving you the convenience of doing it 100% online with Buy Now. Anytime, from anywhere, you can compare hundreds of hand-picked, safety-inspected, free-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs that are available to purchase completely online. Shop smarter with personalized, estimated payments on all the inventory. Apply for financing and schedule your driveway delivery all online. Woodhouse, delivering a better way to car buy online with Buy Now. We've got some universally big news for Nebraska Pick 5 fans. The price for matching four of five numbers has risen from $450 to $500. Visit your favorite Nebraska lottery retailer today. Pick five numbers between 1 and 40 or ask for a Nebraska Pick 5 quick pick. Match four numbers and you could win $500. Each play only costs $1 and there are drawings seven days a week. It's just another way our game is getting better all the time. Nebraska Pick 5 top prize odds 1 in 658,000. We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres solutions for every field. Final few minutes of hour one. Our volleyball show coming up next hour. Jessica will host JB a prior commitment tonight. So he's not here. He's not been committed. He has a prior <laughs> commitment. Yes, and we tried to get Lauren to sub in, but uh, she had prior commitments too, so... I guess I'll be the the third string QB here tonight. Be a good show. Always is. A lot yes. of activity from people. Uh, our Athlete of the Month has gotten some uh, some nominations. Matt from Raymond says, I think hands down it's the polar bear. Uh, I, you know, Nash didn't do much Saturday against Purdue. He had an awesome game against Northwestern. Uh, but certainly, I think he's got to be somebody you consider. Uh, crypto is going Newsom and Merritt would be his two that he... Uh, lined up with for athlete of the month. I love the debate on that. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, it's. I just was trying to think if you hit Newsom, hey, here's another football player we could we could throw in that mix. Isaac Gifford also is yeah. probably. I mean, you know, he doesn't necessarily have the the picks or anything, but he's lead, he was all over the place last week, and you guys mentioned that several times. He was everywhere, and um, you know, he leads the team in tackles, and he's just been so steady Eddie, and is just so. Big for this defense, what they do. So he's another one that you could argue. Uh, you know, I, it, it's a good problem to have that we're having this debate. But uh, sounds like a, a few people agree with us, though, with, with going with volleyball. Doug in Norfolk says anybody in the volleyball team, they beat two nationally rated teams in October. They hold the number one ranking. Happy the other teams are doing great, but the volleyball team has been dominant. And, and, and you know, that's, I think that's where ultimately why I lean for the volleyball because they beat the number one yeah. ranked team in the country. They now are number one. Uh, yeah, it's hard to. To go off against that, so. Well, we got November. There's still a lot to play for sure. for the football team in November. They maybe we'll we'll be talking about a, a football player here in the, at the end of the next this month. Emma, Emma, in the chat room says athlete of the month will either be Merritt or the underdog Andy Jackson. I'm a big Andy Jackson fan. I think she's tremendous, but I would lean Merritt or Bergen would be my one-two in volleyball. Yeah. I agree. Who's your freshman of the year in that volleyball team? Oh my gosh. That's like picking your favorite kid, right? I don't know. Goodness. One of them's a lock for the Big Ten freshman, right? I don't know who it is. Maybe Harper, Bergen. I mean, yeah, that's tough. She's in the conversation for setter of the year, not just freshman of the year. You're right. Yeah. Woodhouse Auto, by the way, uh, Wisconsin just lost a set to Purdue. It's one set all in Madison. That's on BTN. A Bible Hour coming up next. Woodhouse Auto Family, your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at Woodhouse. Com. I'm out of here. Jessica's back with the head volleyball coach, the Cornhuskers, John Cook, the Volleyball Hour on the other side. Come on back. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. 
It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska's known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. There's room at the table. Add more dollars to every acre by incorporating value-added grain into your operation with Central Valley Ag. From white corn to blue corn to organics, find the right fit for your operation. Now, for a limited time, enter to win a $10,000 bonus when you contract a minimum of 50,000 bushels of value-added grain. Enter to win at cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. At Grand Works, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit GroundWorks.com for a free estimate. GroundWorks, foundation solutions crafted with pride. The official foundation company of the Huskers. There's no community like a Cenex community. And that's why every Cenex store is so proud to serve theirs by supporting local athletic teams, promoting the arts, and making sure each store is a place its neighbors can find what they need, catch up with their friends, and stay connected. It's also why we give back, helping to make the wonderful places we call home the best they can be. Your local Cenex doesn't just work in your town, it lives there. The store next door, powered locally at Cenex.
It's time for the Nebraska Volleyball Coaches Show. Alongside head coach John Cook. Ooh, jump served by McKenna Wooker. Good pass. Long shoots it. Big Alec. Kaboom. Waking babies all over North Bottoms. 13 11 Huskers. Free ball by the libero and a near kill until Lexi Rodriguez saved it. Unreal. Lexi Rodriguez kept it alive. It's 19 9. They're on their feet and Lincoln. Spana serves. Good pass. Huskers left side. Kaboom. Harper Murray. Putting dents in the Devaney deck, 23-17 Nebraska. Bump set left, Sarah Franklin for Wisconsin. Great up by Harper, she's playing great defense. Jack back right side, Merritt needs it, she gives it. Survival Saturday. Nebraska staying alive, it's 11-10. Could this be the match? And here's the call. Net violation, we're done. Nebraska defeats Wisconsin. They did it. Call the grandkids. Nebraska takes down mighty Wisconsin. Here is your host, Jessica Cootie, on the Huskers Radio Network. Welcome in to our weekly Nebraska volleyball show. I'm Jessica Cootie in for John Baylor tonight. We're uh, waiting. The head coach, John Cook, will be joining us here. Get those calls and texts in. We already have a call. Caller on the line awaiting. Jim, we will get to you as soon as we can, but get those calls and texts in on our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline, 402 413 2400. Woodhouse Auto Family is your trusted auto partner with 20 brands and 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. Again, 402 413 2400. Nebraska Volleyball. Still number one in the country. They are 21 and 0 after a pair of sweeps over the weekend. 3-0 over Maryland on Friday, and then 3-0 over Rutgers on Saturday. So 21 and 0. They keep racking them up. We got lots to get to with the coach coming up on this weekend. They'll head to Penn State on Friday, 7:30, and then um, they'll play on Sunday. So one of those Sunday matches at Rutgers. We talked to uh, Lindsey Peterson earlier in the year about that. How that was. A good split for them because of the travel to be able to play on that, that Sunday. So um, a Sunday match there for Nebraska Volleyball. So we'll work in our first break here, so we'll have plenty of time with Coach Cook. But uh, get more for what you grow with CVA. For a limited time, be entered to win a $10,000 bonus when you contract a minimum of $50,000, 50,000 bushels of value-added grain at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. We're back with Coach Cook coming up after this break. There's room at the table. Add more dollars to every acre by incorporating value-added grain into your operation with Central Valley Ag. From white corn to blue corn to organics, find the right fit for your operation. Now, for a limited time, enter to win a $10,000 bonus when you contract a minimum of 50,000 bushels of value-added grain. Enter to win at cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Maybe your hometown celebrates long-standing Swiss traditions, cow chip throwing, or even classic car muscle. Everyone has a hometown, and every hometown has a festival. Senex wants to hear about yours. That's why we're launching the Hometown Throwdown. Tell us about your fest, and it could win $100,000. Learn more at SenexHometownThrowdown.com. Senex, powered locally. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exist to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. Both farmers and Division I athletes are alike in that every year, every season presents a new opportunity. That is nothing new. Aurora Cooperative does what they always do, embrace new opportunities. They focus on their roots and continue to stand strong with their farmer owners. These core beliefs are much like those of committed Husker athletes. Aurora Cooperatives relies on their value of a strong work ethic to get any job done for their producers. When you choose Aurora Cooperative, you're choosing a winning team that's dedicated to the success of our local farmers. Go Big Red and go Aurora Cooperative. Let's face it, nothing makes you look older than you really are than thinning hair. 
But what if you could not only increase your hair count, but promote new hair growth without surgery, without drugs with potential side effects, and without a prescription from your doctor? Well, now you can, thanks to a breakthrough new supplement called Hair Grow. Provided by New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Europe, Hair Grow is now available in the U.S. Only Hair Grow contains Tokogaya, a powerful antioxidant that has received a U.S. patent. Multiple clinical studies show hair grow is safe and effective in promoting new hair growth. In one study, 95% of the patients using hair grow saw increased hair count. Don't lose more time and more hair. Try hair grow today to feel and look your best. Just go to newnordicusa.com or visit Walgreens or Amazon to purchase. Look younger and feel more confident with hair grow by New Nordic at newnordicusa.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Dear roads, trails, and rivers, you ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the trail taming forerunner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. There's room at the table and more dollars to every acre by incorporating value-added grain into your operation with Central Valley Ag. From white corn to blue corn to organics, find the right fit for your operation. Now, for a limited time, enter to win a $10,000 bonus when you contract a minimum of 50,000 bushels of value-added grain. Enter to win at cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Shop smarter online for your next vehicle with Buy Now from Woodhouse. Car buying 100% online from your local trusted auto partner. Easily compare hundreds of hand-picked, safety-inspected cars, trucks, and SUVs features, capabilities, and payments. Conveniently apply for financing and complete your paperwork for purchase 100% online anytime from anywhere. Plus, we'll deliver it to your driveway. Woodhouse, delivering a better way to car buy online with Buy Now. Farming today is a combination of hard work, innovation, and partnerships to help keep us moving forward. Sap Brothers Petroleum has provided us with fuel, propane, and lubricants on the farm for many years. For over 52 years, Sap Brothers has been a reliable partner to thousands of farmers across our great state. We work hard to make sure our customers have the most reliable supply, provided in the safest manner and at the most competitive price. Trust Sap Brothers Petroleum to protect your equipment and keep your farm fueled. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics and to serve Nebraska farmers and Husker fans across America's heartland. Life doesn't come with guarantees, but working with Rob Seco comes pretty close. Our strategic investments in the seed we offer are designed to directly improve your bottom line. From full trade platforms, breeding and development, to field-by-field -field planning and seed-driven crop inputs, with Rob Seco, you have precisely what you need to improve plant performance and increase yield. Every farm, every crop, and every acre. Learn more at robseco.com. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Welcome back to the Nebraska Volleyball Show. I'm Jessica Cootie, joined by the head coach, John Cook. Did you have a happy Halloween? Uh, <clears throat> no. No, I did not. No? <laughs> I despise Halloween. Really? Yeah, it's a distraction. Let's yeah. put it that way. Did the uh, granddaughter dress up? Oh, yeah, she did. I, I, that, that would have been cool to be with her. She dressed up. My wife made her a mermaid costume. Oh. So they had several Halloween get-togethers, and um, so, yeah, that's a big deal up, up there. Is she so. the point to where she's trick-or-treating? Like oh, yeah. Up, yeah, yeah trick-or-treating. She, she, I talked to her today. She got candy. <laughs> so. 
Does Lauren limit how much candy she can have? Uh, I don't know that. <laughs> uh, I used to limit our. I used to buy it from them so they wouldn't, you know, <laughs> I'd, I'd cash them out. <laughs> she a big fan of Little Mermaid or something? Yeah, just because uh, went Disneyland. You know, yeah. Is it Ariel. Yeah. Yeah. Ariel. Ariel yeah. yeah. Nice. So I was big this summer with the movie that came out. So uh, you had a bunch of your players dress up in Halloween costumes too. Yeah. Who won the best costume award yesterday? Uh, I gave it to Caroline. Yeah. Jervish. Is she, I don't, I still don't know who she was, but I, I didn't even recognize her. I mean, like, who the <laughs> heck is this? They were, oh, from Twilight. One of them was the. Yeah, well, that's, I didn't know who that character was. They all dressed up as character, characters. I also liked Lindsay Krause and Allie Bainhorst. They were yeah. Taylor Swift and yeah. Travis Kelsey. That, that was the second, the second uh, vote. I feel like that was probably the number one couple costume of yeah. the year. Yeah. Um, they're well, so they're, they're so creative though. Like in a couple of them, I had to ask, okay, who are you? <laughs> and um, of course, uh, I mean they're they're so creative in how they do it, and they had a good time with it. And I was thinking, oh great, here's this is going to be a bad practice, but it was actually a pretty good practice. I laughed out loud when I saw a Becca Alex costume. Yeah, yeah. She pulled that off. She was a <laughs> Paul Mr. Worldwide. Um, but yeah, it, that's always fun. It was, it's always fun to see their personalities. And you know, when I sat down with Jordan a couple of weeks ago, she said that I asked her, is there something that she learned about this team that she didn't know? And she said, you know, they're so competitive and they want to be great, but they also enjoy each other and they have fun and they, they celebrate the moments. And uh, she's like, yeah, I'm even learning that I can be too focused a lot of times, but learning to celebrate the moments and, and have fun. And that's been a big part of what they've been able to do this year. Yeah. Yeah, they they have a good time. And I keep I say that all the time. They're they're fun to be around, and they they have a good time. And yeah, so it's it's a fun group. Well, uh, mm -hmm. how'd you guys walk away from the weekend? How'd you feel like once you watched film that uh, the team played that last weekend? Yeah, we we were. Uh, I mean, we played some great volleyball, but we also had some moments that weren't so great. So. I think it's kind of natural, and you know, they uh, like I said, at times we played dominant volleyball. When you're beating, when you're ahead of a team 22 to seven, and uh, as playing dominant volleyball, it's hard to do. You know, I think we had an eight point run, a 10 point run, and uh, but we also, you know, we missed four serves in a row at one point. I'm, I'm not sure I've ever seen a Nebraska team do that. Mm. So, but then we, you know, we don't miss a serve, and you know, we miss like one serve in the next two games. So, uh, <clears throat> it's it's hard to be great every night. It's hard to be focused. You just look at all the upsets going on, all the crazy matches, and and um, yeah, you gotta gotta bring it every night. How do you balance that? Because I mean, you're 21 to know, you're racking up the wins, and you want to keep getting great. But then also, again, appreciating when you do play the good volleyball. I mean, I think you can hammer in a lot on, oh, we gotta get better at this and this and this. But also, hey, we're pretty dang good volleyball team. Yeah, well, we're. We're always talking about improving because it's easy this time of year to take take plays off to cruise and then you're not improving. And you know, the, I, I'm, every team's going through it where you can just you know it's just hard to grind right now. You're kind of in this. You know, were in week seven, uh, three more weeks after this, and then the NCAA tournament. But there's some teams that okay, they're not in the NCAA tournament, so they're kind of. It's hard, probably hard for them. There's some that are playing for their lives to get in. And um, so it, you got all these things going on, but the key is can you come in every week and continue to get better? And my talk to the team was at the beginning of the week was, you know, hey, we're, we're always going to work on fundamentals every day. I don't care if we're getting ready to play for the national championship. That practice, we're going to work on fundamentals. And because I really think if you continue to keep those strong, you have a pretty good base to play from. Now you may not be fired up every night or that you have that much energy or those types of things, but at least we're gonna have a good foundation to play off of. When you're saying the term widening the gap, I know your coaches have said that, what, what does that mean? What, are you, what goes into that? <clears throat> well, exactly, it's just a way of saying right, right now, teams are either getting better or worse. Mm -hmm. So if we wanna try to widen the gap on teams, we've gotta to continue to improve. If we don't, then we're gonna go the other direction. And so it's just, it's a way that we, instead of saying, hey, we got to come in and get better. Hey, guys, how can we widen the gap? How can we widen the gap on some of these teams? And, you know, and there's a couple teams that we've, we've got to keep, keep trying to widen the gap. 
All right, let's get to our first phone call. Jim actually was called in while we were still in Sports Nightly in, in hour number one. So let's, he's been in Holden, so let's uh, get him on now. Jim, thanks for holding on. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you guys tonight? Good. Good. So, John, I, I'd uh, like to congratulate you on your, on your season so far. And really thank you for not only you, your coaching staff, your team, but even the university for what you have done for uh, not only volleyball, but women's sports. And not only in that sport, but it bleeds over into other things. Um, we are having our um, pancake feed for the Valley Fire Department this Sunday. And uh, we're going to be uh, silent auction of the T-shirts that you gave us and the volleyball that you signed for us, which we really appreciate. And I know that because of what you guys have done, that is going to bring us some additional much-needed funds. So uh, I, I just want to thank you uh, for that. Um, and then I have a question about Jordan Larson. I've been watching uh, several YouTube videos on her, uh, some from several years ago, some more recent. And it just amazes me, as good as she is, the insatiable desire that she has to just always improve all the time. And my question to you is, did you see that when she was at Nebraska? And do you see that uh, in any of your players today? Well, good question. Uh, first of all, the firefighter part, you know, good luck, good luck with that. And I, we were fired up to be able to be a part of that. And just, uh, I, you know, I, you, you guys don't know this, but uh, my son-in-law up in Victor, Idaho, is actually a volunteer firefighter. So he's in there two, three times a month. Uh, but he's, so he's involved with that. And then my brother-in-law and his two sons are all firefighters in the California Department of Forestry uh, in California. So uh, they fight forest fires. And anyway, so I have a, a really much, much respect for what, you guys do and and uh so firefighters have a tough job and we really appreciate what you do um jordan uh she was not like that early in her career toward the end of her career at nebraska i could see um you know her really focus on okay i, I want to continue to play volleyball i've got to continue to get better and i think especially her senior year she was 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 on a mission and and i think has continued that uh, but you got to remember, in eighth grade, she told me that she was going to come to Nebraska and win a national championship and be an Olympian. So that was in her head. And if you got goals like that, you're you're not taking days off and you're not messing around and you're not taking it for granted. And so you're going to work hard. And uh, she certainly has done that. And she still has it. I mean, she went through oh, a little yeah. bit of practice with us today. She watches video every day. She loves volleyball. She loves coaching. She loves being in the gym. And... Uh, it kind of is inspiring because you you know here she's done it all and she's she's in there still grinding. That's awesome. So do you see that in any of your players today? Um, in a in a somewhat of a uh, some days they they do it and then some days they're just trying to get through through get through it. Uh, I think it's easier when you you know you're a pro and you don't have school. I mean, these guys got school and you know other commitments, so they're just trying to and learn how to balance their time and do all those things. Uh, but uh, this group loves playing volleyball, and so the energy and the commitment they bring in there every day is it's pretty impressive, uh, especially for you know we have no seniors, so uh, yeah. Th so yeah, we have a group or a core. They're just not at the level that Jordan is, for example, or maybe a Tom Brady or, you know, some of the a Michael Jordan, those guys. But you can see it developing is, I guess, the best way I could say it. You can see it developing. You can see the, you know, the, the start of it. That's awesome. Well, you're the best one to bring it out of them. So good luck uh, against Penn State this Friday and uh, the rest of the year. Okay, thanks Jim. For talking to okay. Me. okay, thanks. Thanks, thanks for, for all the you call, do. Jim. You great, bet. great question. How's she been on the the bench? Uh, she's uh, Jordan only speaks when she's got something to say. She's not gonna be just you know saying stuff. So she's very, you know, as she says, less is more. 
You know, she's really only going to say something when she thinks it can make an impact or, or she can help somebody. So she's been great, she's, but she has a great feel for that just because she's been captain of the USA team. So I think she just has a great feel of when and who to say something to. But it's not gonna, she's not in there pounding the floor and doing all that stuff. And, and uh, Krause does that. We've got to pull her out of there sometimes because she gets <laughs> too fired up. But uh, uh, anyway, she's, she's really good. How has she been at you know the on court developing and working with those those hitters? Great, awesome. And I've learned stuff from her and how she sees things. And she's, you know, again, if you watch our practice, she's not the best athlete in there. She doesn't jump the highest, but she just has such a great feel for the game. It's just it's impressive to watch and. Just some of the plays she makes, I'm like, how, do, how does she know how to do that? Mm. You know, and she was hitting the shot today. Like, I don't know how to even teach it. It would take us months to teach it, but it's a great shot. And um, so that might be something we work on in the, in the spring. But just, just, she just knows how to do things. How good is that for your team to have that, that you're going up against in practice? Well, I think it's great. You know, and I told the team, like, when I go rope, there's, there's a couple ropers that are really good, and I like just watch them. And I'm like, okay, I can do this. And, you know, it just makes me better. It's the same thing playing golf. If you're with a really good golfer, you're going to play better because you're just watching them and like, wow, this is how, how you do it. And I told him that. I said, when I rope, I watch these guys, and you guys get to, you know, watch Jordan do it every day. She doesn't, she's not in there every day. She's still working back into it. You know, she's... She has to manage her body. <laughs> she, I don't know how she does it. I know. So she, but she's, she, she makes some old lady moves, I can tell you that. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, when you have former players, you have a couple of them now on your staff, how and when do you see that maybe they could have potential as a coach? And how do those conversations evolve with those guys? With those guys? Well, first of all, usually the setters mm -hmm. make great coaches. Yeah. So Danny was a setter. Kelly's a setter. Um, uh, so those, those, those are two that, you know, the latest, um, then, um, some of them, Nicklin, Nicklin's going to be a great coach. She's the third one. And she just, I'm so impressed with her hmm. and she has a very limited role because she's a grad assistant, but just her observations, she just knows when to get the balls out, when to set up this drill, when to do that. I mean, she did, I don't have to tell her anything. And so I think setters make really good coaches because they watch the game, they study it, and, uh, you know, they're running the show. Um, after that, uh, there's, you know, when players tell me they want to be coaches, then I always, I always do this a lot. It dry, I think it drives some of our players crazy. I'll say, okay, we're going to do this today, we're going to do this, and we're going to work on this. And for those of you who want to be coaches someday, this is why we're doing it. And so I always try to, you know, prime them mm -hmm. Okay, this is why we're doing something. Now, some of them are like, okay, coach, I really could care less why we're doing it. Let's just do it, you know. Um, so I'm always kind of, like I said, priming that mm -hmm. in their minds, you know, this is why we do something. That's awesome. You told a story the other day on your post game radio interview that Kelly Hunter got onto him a little bit. That's, is that pretty rare for her to, her to be yeah. pretty animated like that? Yeah, she wants to just be their buddy. So, <laughs> yeah, she, she got after him a little bit. So. I, asked I heard that. I wasn't, I wasn't in there. I asked Jalen this on the podcast this week. Who, for Halloween purposes, who's the scariest? Who do you think the team would say would be the scariest to get yelled at by on this coaching staff? He said probably you, but he said uh, Lindsey Peterson is pretty scary when she when she yells. Yeah, when Lindsey when Lindsay, Lindsay's one of those ones when she talks like, uh oh, you know, you you better listen and you know, it's always really powerful. She has, yeah, another setter. Yeah. <laughs> She coached, you know, until she started having four kids. And um, but when I hired her, she was coaching. Um, she had coached at Northern Colorado. She coached at Virginia Tech, I think, and then back at Northern Colorado. And um, so I hired her out of the coaching ranks. But she she'd be. Oh no, she coached uh, my daughter in club. They won a national championship. Wow, so, small world. Yeah, you, she is um, such a boss. Like I mean, yeah. you want to talk about somebody that I think could be an AD or be a SWA one day. I mean, she's just great to work with, so organized. It just, she's a leader, right? Total, total. She would be a great, great SWA. 
All right, we got to get to a break on that note, uh, but keep those calls and texts coming in and see if you have those texts. We'll get to those on the other side of this. Contact 811 two days before you dig to protect your underground utilities and yourself. It's free, it's easy, it's the law. We're back with more with Coach Cook coming up after this. I'm Tom Osborne, former football coach and founder of the Teammates Mentoring Program. I'm recruiting for the team, and I want it to be the finest team in America. I'm looking for someone like you to be a teammates mentor, someone who is willing to reach out to a child and make a difference. Meeting with a student once a week at school can make an impact in their life and in the community. We want you to join our team. Go to teammates.org to apply today. We could tell you all about what makes Ford F-Series the number one trucks in America for 46 straight years. But why tell you when we could show you instead? Because in the Midwest, talk is cheap and actions speak. On the lake, on the job, or on the town. Choose the trucks that deliver on the claims. Ford F-Series is made for the real world. This is Chief's Kingdom. Get 3.9% financing for 66 months, plus up to 3750 bonus cash on F-150 XLT. Official truck of the Kansas City Chiefs. Other irrigation companies are finally discovering what TNL Irrigation has known for decades. Continuous movement is the best way to irrigate. While they'll have you pay for complicated upgrades to get steady, even water application with their high voltage electric systems, all TNL Irrigation pivots and linears are propelled safely and smoothly by powerful hydrostatic drive. Continuous movement isn't new, it's the TNL standard. Don't get talked into a reinvented wheel. Pick the proven original. Call your TNL Irrigation dealer today or visit TLIRR.com. TNL, like no other. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skecher shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers. Growing opportunity from the ground up. We've got some universally big news for Nebraska Big 5 fans. The price for matching four of five numbers has risen from $450 to $500. Visit your favorite Nebraska lottery retailer today. Pick five numbers between 1 and 40 or ask for a Nebraska Pick 5 quick pick. Match four numbers and you could win $500. Each play only costs $1 and there are drawings seven days a week. It's just another way our game is getting better all the time. Nebraska Pick 5 top prize odds 1 in 658,000. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Dear roads, trails, and rivers, you ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved-up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the trail-taming 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. Not All Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Not All Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Not All Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! 
there's room at the table. Add more dollars to every acre by incorporating value-added grain into your operation with Central Valley Ag. From white corn to blue corn to organics, find the right fit for your operation. Now, for a limited time, enter to win a $10,000 bonus when you contract a minimum of 50,000 bushels of value-added grain. Enter to win at cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley A, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Woodhouse has been delivering you confidence in car buying since 1975. And now we're giving you the convenience of doing it 100% online with Buy Now. Anytime, from anywhere, you can compare hundreds of hand-picked, safety-inspected, free-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs that are available to purchase completely online. Shop smarter with personalized, estimated payments on all the inventory. Apply for financing and schedule your driveway delivery all online. Woodhouse, delivering a better way to car buy online with Buy Now. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Auto Family is your trusted auto partner with 20 brands and 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your term. Visit us online at woodhouse.com, 402-413-2400, the number to call or text in. Coach, I wanted to ask you about this because, I mean, you um, are really invested in the football team, know a lot what's going on. And Coach Roll mentioned the other day in his press conference how you're one of the first guys that, that contact him and, and talk to him in that relationship. Um, how great has it been for you to see what, what they've been doing and undefeated in the month of October? Well, it's it's awesome to watch, and um, I think I, I agree with him. I think this team he's they they've created a lot of grit, and they're tough, and they hit. Uh, I love defense, and I just love the way they play defense, and um, so I think you know it's and it's fun to see special teams guys making plays. I mean, it's just they're doing some really good things, and it's awesome to watch and. Um, and I've been at their practices, you know, and they're all, and I've been in video with them and team meetings with them, and they're always talking about, and Coach Rule especially, this is what we got to do to win. This is how, what we're going to do to be successful. He's always hammering those little things, which I try to do as a coach as well. We got to do these little things if we want to be great, and it's some, sometimes it's easy just to overlook those things. But he's, he's, uh, I, I just I talked to him Sunday night, and he had just got out of a video, and he was showing him, okay. Here's the good things we did, but look at this. Boom, we got to get better. We got to get better, you know, and just saying we got to clean that stuff up. And uh, so anyway, he's, guy's got energy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, how, how um, good is that for you? Because, you know, all your coaches say that you're constantly trying to get better and learn, but to be able to go pick the brain of somebody like Matt Rule, and I'm sure he feels the same way, but, but to constantly kind of be evolving and changing, what are they doing? What are they doing well that works well that maybe I could do? Yeah, I, I just think... Uh, it's, uh, I listen to all his press conferences and everything he says. I'm guessing he pays it. I know he pays attention because I, I get texts from him. But um, I think the biggest thing is, is that you're, it, it creates momentum. Like, you know, two weeks ago when we beat Wisconsin, they beat, um, who they beat? Purdue? No, who was before that? Northwestern. Uh, Northwestern. Yeah. And then soccer won the championship. I mean, that's the stuff that creates great athletic departments yeah. and creates some momentum and this camaraderie with the teams and the coaches um so uh but you know and, and again i just i just notice right now you know everywhere i you, you walk around here you know and i'm walking around between uh hawks and you know training table and academics all the football guys say hi you know all the basketball guys say hi i just had dinner with a bunch of the basketball girls right before i came over here so you just get this I don't know. It's a family feel, and we haven't had that last few years. Mm. And and I think winning helps that, but also, um, you know, the way this place is set up, it's very easy to connect with all the athletes. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Um, Emma from Springfield, coach. Since Maggie's playing basketball along with volleyball, will she get to the NCAA tournament for volleyball before she plays in a basketball game? She wasn't dressed out at the basketball game. Yeah, that's 
that's the plan. But she did get a chance to play for you guys the other day. You had talked about her in your post game and really bragged on her. How have you seen her continue to develop too? Yeah, she's. Uh... You know, you got to remember, she's still the youngest player on our team. <laughs> and we, we have five freshmen. Yeah. So. Because uh, she should be a freshman this she year. She should be a yep. freshman this year. So she's really, really developing and, and getting better and better. And, and um, but no, she won't. She'll finish volleyball and then go to basketball. And it works out pretty good because, you know, they have a break over Christmas because mm -hmm. she'll she needs a few days to just like. De decompress and then start acclimating her body for basketball because it is two different sports and they slowly work her back into it because you it's a good way to get hurt if you jump right in there and go full speed basketball when you haven't been doing it so the timing out works out pretty good and then she's got you know january february march hopefully close to april to play basketball Here's another uh, text question for you. Can Coach Cook explain the signals he gives to the servers? I get the zone numbers, but sometimes there's a finger wiggle or a tap <laughs> on the notebook or a wave of the hand. You can't give all that away, right? I can't give all that away. <laughs> That's top secret. People still steal our signals. You know, I'm worried. We got Michigan coming up. I'm worried about them stealing our signals. <laughs> nice. Well played. Uh, how is playing at Penn State different than playing at the Bob? And how did you guys prep the team this week for those differences? Really not much difference. They'll have a white out, which everybody will have white shirts, and they got these white pom-poms. The biggest difference is we play on wood there as opposed to TerraFlex, which we play here. So we have to prep our players. Monday we got on the wood. Tomorrow we'll get on the wood just to go into the floor because it's, you know, I can already hear Harper, ouch, you know, that hurts. I need a Band-Aid. You know, you get spoiled playing on TerraFlex, and it's just so much easier on their bodies. But... We have two TerraFlex floors, and I am I am convinced as all get out, they're worth every penny because I really believe it 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 helps us be fresher at the end of the year, training on that TerraFlex surface because it's forgiving, it's mm -hmm. soft, uh, they it doesn't beat up their bodies when they hit the floor, and uh, I think it's easier on their legs. Ever since we got those, you don't you don't really see the you know knee tendonitis, the shin splints, you know the back aches. And, and I know personally, I mean, I, I in camp, uh, in the summer for Dream Team camp, I'll coach three three-hour sessions, nine hours I'll be out there. My back never hurts me. If I go coach on a wood floor about 45 minutes, my back just starts getting really tight. Wow. And it's just, you know, that surface is actually made by a company that makes those surfaces for auto factories, surgical rooms, dental offices mm -hmm. where people are on their feet all day. And that's the product, and they just happen to have a side part of that that is you know perform or uh, athletic floors wow you uh you like going on the road a road road environments you know again going back to coach rule he talked about how he loves going on the road and it's a us against the world mentality it brings a team together are you of that camp too totally totally and sometimes i think we play with less pressure on the road hmm. sometimes i think i feel like we have pressure on us here uh and i think our sometimes our players feel that because it's like we're at home we don't want to let our fans down go on the road you know it's just uh, I just feel like the pressure comes off. You guys always have a packed house, and um, obviously, and we've talked a lot throughout the last year about the attendance, but how great is it to see the, everybody supporting the high school volleyball this week, too? Yeah, I just was over there also earlier today. It was packed. Bands are going. It's, <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, though. Uh, you know, I was, I was standing over there talking to, I mean, standing next to one of the, the guys, the security guy, not his security, like, they're like, uh, Making sure the kids yeah. are all behaving and, yeah. you know, uh, I don't know what those guys, I call them security guys. They're not really security guys. And he, and he just turns to me and he goes, how good is the volleyball in the state of Nebraska? He goes, I've been watching this all day. He goes, it's unreal. Mm. And, I, and I'm watching, I was watching the Class A. I mean, it is great volleyball. They're doing some really good stuff offensively. It's really hard to get a kill. They're blocking super disciplined. They don't make a lot of errors. I mean, it, it, volleyball here is really, really good, and it's getting continuing to get better. I mean, it's really high level. It's awesome. Dorothy Lynch Homestyle Light and Lean Dressing Endless Flavor Abilities well, one of those products of Nebraska Volleyball. Lindsay Krause, you got an update on her at all? She was on the bike today, so we're making progress. So uh, I still think we got some time to go, but um, 
every day is a victory that we can keep pushing forward. I know she's working, she's uh, rehabbing twice a day, so that kid wants to get back. Yeah. And uh, can't wait to get her back. How, how nice is it? It's got to be nice that you have the kind of depth. Some teams, if a player like Lindsey Crowley goes out, probably feel like you got to rush her back or you can't really take your time, but it's got to be nice that you, you've built the depth that you can take your time and make sure she's fully healthy before she comes back. Yep, and uh, it's hard to do because with the portal now. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're, you know, we, we always try to build depth. Uh, and, um, and again, when, if you come to our practice, everybody's rotating. So I'm always having everybody, you know, feels like they're ready to go if we need them. And it's just part of how we've always done it. And then it also helps manage their jumps and, you know, their, their workload. Uh, but I want everybody to feel like at any point you can come in and play. And that's one of the reasons I think when we do need somebody to be a game changer, they, they can do it. All right, let's work in our final break before our final segment with Coach Cook. Bu buckle up and put the phone out. A reminder from the Indio T Highway Safety Office. Still see some texts text coming in, so get those in on our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline. We will uh, try to get to those in our final segment here with Coach Cook on the Nebraska Volleyball Show. This statement has not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. When it comes to my lifestyle and diet, I don't always make the smartest choices. Touchdown! Woo! Hey, how about another round and some more chips? But when it comes to taking care of my liver, I do make one very smart choice. Active liver tablets from New Nordic. I used to have real issues with my liver. And at my last checkup, my doc was concerned about my numbers. But since adding a once-a-day active liver tablet, my gut's better, I feel great, and my doctor's happy. I ask a lot of my liver. So the least I can do to say thanks is a daily dose of active liver. Active liver is one of many award-winning health products from New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Scandinavia. Purchase at Amazon.com or for a volume discount, visit NewNordicUSA.com. Available as a tablet or delicious sugar-free gummy. Protect and help your liver the easy and effective way with active liver at Amazon or NewNordicUSA.com. Shop smarter online for your next vehicle with Buy Now from Woodhouse. Car buying 100% online from your local trusted auto partner. Easily compare hundreds of hand-picked safety inspected cars, trucks and SUVs features, capabilities and payments. Conveniently apply for financing and complete your paperwork for purchase 100% online anytime from anywhere. Plus, we'll deliver it to your driveway. Woodhouse, delivering a better way to car buy online with Buy Now. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Woodhouse has been delivering you confidence in car buying since 1975. And now we're giving you the convenience of doing it 100% online with Buy Now. Anytime, from anywhere, you can compare hundreds of hand-picked, safety-inspected, free-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs that are available to purchase completely online. Shop smarter with personalized, estimated payments on all the inventory. Apply for financing and schedule your driveway delivery all online. Woodhouse, delivering a better way to car buy online with Buy Now. There's room at the table. Add more dollars to every acre by incorporating value-added grain into your operation with Central Valley Ag. From white corn to blue corn to organics, find the right fit for your operation. Now, for a limited time, enter to win a $10,000 bonus when you contract a minimum of 50,000 bushels of value-added grain. Enter to win at cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions for every field. Final segment here with Coach Cook on our Nebraska Volleyball Show. The texts are rolling in for you. Coach, do you know ahead of time what ball the home team uses for road matches, and does everyone use the same one for NCAA tournament? 
for the tournament, there's one ball. It's the blue and white and gray ball that's made by Moulton, and um, that is the standard ball for the NCAA tournament. So everybody plays the same ball. Before that, you can everybody's got different balls they play with. But yes, we look to see what ball they're playing with so we can make sure we're, because every ball is different. And um, so we make sure we have those balls in practice and we get them out um, um, in preparation for when we're playing. Here's another one for you. Each season has such energy and excitement for us fans. For this year, if you had to pick one stat to approve upon in a game, what would the staff choose and would it be unanimous? Thank you from Jen. It would be unanimous and it would probably be uh, serving. <laughs> <laughs> I know people, we get texts about it and people want to ask about it. How did you feel like it was last week? I know you said in, in one of the games, I think it was Saturdays, that was a little rough, but then they picked it up in the second set, I believe. Yeah, we, we, we just have, we, we're actually a very good serving team. We just get in these... It's contagious when a couple of people miss and everybody starts missing, and then eventually they work their way out of it. It's just uh, we've got to continue to reduce our errors. So, for example, we want to be around eight to nine percent error, and right now we're about 12, 13 percent. So we've got to bring it down five percent. And and so you're always on this fine line because you want to try to really serve aggressively, but you got to keep it in, and uh, so you're just hovering on that line all the time. Appreciate the text on our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline. Woodhouse Auto Family is your trusted auto partner with 20 brands and 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. Had a question for the chat for you earlier. Crypto King wanted to know what is your all time favorite song and why? <laughs> it varies from time to time. Right now, it's uh, the revival song by Zach Bryan. And. Um, we're actually making our own version of it. We're recording it. Oh, nice. Uh, but it's the revival song that he does at the end of the concert. And when I went to the Zach Bryan concert the day before, he played here the day before the stadium match. You know, we found out later he would have loved to have done the stadium match. But he had signed like two days be at Pinnacle Bank before he had a chance to see the contract for playing in the stadium. Anyway, but Scotty did a great job. He was, he was a lot of fun. Um, but... At the end of his concert, and this is where I, he, he plays this revival song and then he introduces all of his band members and it's, it's awesome. And uh, I can't get it out of my head. And we play it every, almost every day in practice. What is it with you in producing songs? Well, we're just, the, the, the players like it. And, mm -hmm. and in that song, he introduces them. So we're trying to make our own version of it where we talk about our players in it. And, and uh, it's just, if you listen to the song, I mean, it's, his song, uh, if you get on Spotify, it's like a 14-minute song because he's going through all of his band members, and he just says little things about them. So we're just trying to have, always try to have fun. That's awesome. But you have that. You have Red Kingdom. I mean, you're, yeah. you're just like building quite the list of songs produced. Yeah, the Red Kingdom pretty much gets played every day. That's, <laughs> that's awesome. Um, Shane in the chat said, Coach asked the student section to storm the court on Saturday on the radio after the Friday game. They didn't. Are your feelings hurt? No, because I've stormed with them. Uh, the security was keeping them off the court, and they, they were behaving very well. It's just, um, oh, it just to be really, really fun. But um, I just I want those students to know we appreciate them, and, and uh, that's why I jumped in there with, got the red cowboy hat on and jumped in there with them, and they're great. So we're, they're having a lot of fun, and it's just cool to see them. They lined their first ones there, and, and uh they're really making us have a, a great student section. Andy in the chat loves the Zach Bryan song. Okay. Love that song, Coach, 10 out of 10. Yeah, totally 10 out of 10. The, the Husker version is going to be 11 or 12 out of 10. Yeah, everybody loves that song. It's just, I hope Zach Bryan appreciates that. that it's a great song. It's just got a great rhythm to it. And um, I, I would go back to see him in concert just to see that, that song. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was... Was that Heard good? it's on a great show. Yeah. Uh, another text for you, Coach Cook. In today's transfer portal world, according to the NCAA, are you able to contact a prospective transfer while they are still on another team's roster? Or the, must they announce they're in the portal before you can contact them or their representatives? Uh, as far as I know, uh, once they go on the portal, they're a free game. Yeah. Yep. How has that been navigating the, the transfer portal? You had mentioned that earlier about you know building depth. Um, you know, it's 
a new wrinkle, but it's not going anywhere, right? Nope. I just read a great article today with the women's basketball coaches, Stanford, Connecticut, those guys talking about uh, LSU, talking about the portal, and they're talking about going and buying players, and, you know, I hate that, and I'm kind of, you know, really proud of what we're doing right now with kids we recruited, and mm -hmm. we're, we're, you know, we have no seniors, and um, it's uh, still always going to be a part of me that, you know, you want to do with the players you recruit and, and give them an opportunity. And, and occasionally you're going to have a need or you need to fill something because something happens, which has happened. But I just, I hope Nebraska Volleyball is never gets to the day where you're just saving scholarships for portal. You see who's in the portal. Yeah. So it's just, I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a love hate deal, I think. All right, let's talk about this weekend at Penn State. We talked about the road environment, but you guys swept Penn State here. Uh, they uh, and the coaches had talked about their changed a few things and, and improved and probably want to come out and, uh, and play really well against you guys in front of their home crowd. What's, what's the key against Penn State? Let's start there first before we talk Rutgers. Well, we'll have to go handle their environment. We'll have to, they're going to have, they're going to be fired up for us. And uh, we got, we got, when they start throwing haymakers, we got to take it, you know, and then and, and punch back. So, uh, so this will be a great, uh, you know, road test and, you know, they always have a great crowd there, and the crowd's right on the court, so uh, it's it's a little bit different environment uh, than Devaney because uh, the fans are so close, and they put the students right there on the court. So, but it's fun. We we I, our players really enjoy playing there. It's a fun environment. And then Rutgers on Sunday, you were telling me one of the breaks. That's pretty fun because you get a lot of Husker fans there from the East Coast that get a chance to go watch you play play there. Yeah, they they don't they I don't, they don't even charge for tickets there, so you can't. So, you know, we normally we don't even turn in a pass list. So, and but I know there's going to be a huge crowd because so many of the Washington D.C., New York, Nebraska people that work out there, they will come and see us at Rutgers, and the other place they always come and show up. I mean, we fill up half of Maryland too. Mm -hmm. um, so we always have a great crowd. They all want to sign autographs and everything, and, and uh, so it's a lot of fun. Being that, uh, final minute here, being that you play them back-to-back -back so quick, how does that change how you approach the second time around? Um, it, it actually will help us, I feel like, because now we got to look at them so we know what to prepare. And you always, when you see them live, you get a way better feel than off video. Um, so, and then we'll have a day in between. So we'll have Saturday is a, because they, they have football, so we're, they moved it to Sunday. So we'll have a day in, to, in between to just kind of tweak a few things that we, you know, learned when we played them here. So I kind of like it. Um, and um, so, and I think we do, yeah, we did that with uh, Michigan State. We played yeah. them, I think, yep. in a week. Yeah, so you always have a couple teams you play, like, within a week. You kind of like those Sunday matches? No. No. <laughs> no. No. I, I like the day in between to prepare. Uh, and, but, I don't know, Sunday at 12 o'clock is just blah. Yeah. I mean, we played Sunday at 6.30 at night. Those are fun matches. So, uh, but we'll, we'll, you know, you got to rally. Last thing quick for you, Emma in the chat really wants to know if you think a hot dog is a sandwich. Uh, <laughs> is a Runza a sandwich? I don't know. Great so, question. I don't know. I don't know. All right, John Cook, appreciate your time. Best of luck this weekend. All right, thank you. This has been the Nebraska Volleyball Show here on the Huskers Radio Network and Sports Nightly. Again, coming up this weekend at Penn State, 730 on Friday night, and then at Rutgers on Sunday. Thanks so much for listening, and uh, we'll see you right here. we got a full two hours of Sports Nightly coming up. Tomorrow night we're going to hear from head coach Mark Manning for Husker Wrestling and Fred Hoiberg. Thanks for listening. Have a great night. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. There's room at the table and more dollars to every acre by incorporating value-added grain into your operation with Central Valley Ag. From white corn to blue corn to organics, find the right fit for your operation. Now, for a limited time, enter to win a $10,000 bonus when you contract a minimum of 50,000 bushels of value-added grain. Enter to win at cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. 
Shop smarter online for your next vehicle with Buy Now from Woodhouse. Car buying 100% online from your local trusted auto partner. Easily compare hundreds of hand-picked, safety-inspected cars, trucks, and SUVs features, capabilities, and payments. Conveniently apply for financing and complete your paperwork for purchase 100% online anytime from anywhere. Plus, we'll deliver it to your driveway. Woodhouse, delivering a better way to car buy online with Buy Now. There are a lot of rates out there, and it can be tough to find the right one. Well, let's make it easy. With FNBO's special offer CD of 5.5% APY for 3, 7, or 17 months, you can earn more, save more, and do more. That's 5.5% annual percentage yield for 3, 7, or 17 months at your nearest FNBO location with a minimum deposit of $500 and an FNBO Premier checking account. So stop on by and give your savings a great big boost with the Great Big Small Bank. FNBO, member FDIC. Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text.